Linux Air Combat version 3.42 from January of 2017. This is a new features review from a three player online mission performed in the development laboratories at AskMrWizard.com where all of this work originated. <laughs> Ouch! All of the video material from this brief little movie was taken from a 90 second extract of an online mission and we are going to use it just to outline and highlight the new features of this version 3.42. To do so we will be interrupting the flow of the video action a few times with pauses and explanations. After we do that to cover the new items um, we will go ahead and show the entire little 90 second snippet at the end of this uninterrupted. I hope you enjoy it. Major features of this new version 3.42 focus on playability, cockpit instrumentations, and communications. The major features include persistent missions that you can join in process at your pleasure on your schedule. They're always running. They also include team affiliations within the multiplayer online missions. All three of the online missions now divide players into blue and red team affiliations. The radar now displays blue team members with blue icons and red team members are displayed with red icons. We have increased radar range. Although radar's accuracy and timeliness diminish as range increases, it is now highly effective out to 100 miles and even tracks the general location of targets as far out as 400 miles. We found that this is necessary as a result of our online beta testing. We've also got some improved cockpit user interface logic for better support of online multiplayer missions. Prominent cockpit messages announce arrival of new mission players and departures too a few seconds after they stop sending telemetry packets. An innovative new cockpit mission router panel features blinking LEDs that act like your home router to reveal telemetry and communication packets from other network players. A glance at the router panel can tell you how many other players are participating in the current online mission, their numeric IDs, and a general indication of their proximity and resultant telemetry vigor. Audio prompts call out numeric identity and team affiliation of selected radar targets within about 50 miles. We have world-class voice communications now. We now offer a free server for the well-known free open source Mumble voice application. Our Mumble server is optimized to support a future LAC community with channels for all of LAC's missions and teams. This server is now available at bosonet.no-ip.biz and each of its channels displays a prominent link to online help associated with related details of LAC through our website. We offer world-class Mumble integration. LAC and Mumble work hand-in-hand. Eleven of LAC's keyboard hotkeys switch your Mumble voice comms channel instantly among missions and teams, and cockpit messages immediately announce the resulting channel name. Mumble pop-ups inform all players whenever anybody enters or leaves their current Mumble channel. Two more keyboard hotkeys can be dedicated to channel push-to-talk and multi-channel push-to-talk functions. When any network player presses either of those talk keys, the cockpit comms panels of all mission participants announce the identity of the transmitting player and his network comms packets light up corresponding LEDs on the new mission router panel. We have a new mission communication hierarchy. Each mission has a main channel, a blue team subchannel, and a red team subchannel. Voice communications within subchannels is always private but speech on the main channel can be heard by both teams. Jumping back and forth between your team subchannel and the main mission channel is instantaneously triggered by single hotkeys and your cockpit display immediately confirms your channel settings. Mumble usernames can be coordinated with LAC usernames for consistent display on LAC's cockpit panel and in Mumble's pop-ups. Mumble's well-known optional overlay is fully compatible with LAC, so you can see the names of all channel users even when they are not transmitting. 
expanded standard keyboard layout is now conveniently arranged to add 16 new comms-related hotkeys in addition to the 44 flight-related hotkeys that have long been offered. Now, with all of that background, you are ready to see how it all comes together during this little 90-second snippet from a recent mission. me badly too. I'm cut up bad. My engines are so damaged they wouldn't hold flight. Linux Air Combat is a product of AskMrWizard.com and we're very glad that you're interested in it. AskMrWizard.com is an advertising supported website and the modest revenue we receive from the advertisements help to fund our development work. You can always learn about Linux Air Combat by going to AskMrWizard.com and clicking on the gaming and then flight simulation links and that will take you to our flight simulation section and prominent in that section you'll see a link to Linux Air Combat. This is the main page you want. As you explore there you will see advertising. We put a small number of ads and we don't have complicated scripting or anything on our website and would you please help us to uh, to get our advertisements, our advertisers to understand what it is that you want. If you see an ad that you're not interested in, please do not click on it. On the other hand, if you see an ad that is interesting to you, our audience, uh, please consider giving that advertiser a fair share of your honest attention. They're helping us. You can help us. Let's help them. That way, everybody wins. Thank you.